are some people that are uh, saying that I'm optimist, and I feel that it's not the right description. I, in a way, um, I have deep belief in human beings. Really deep in my heart, I believe with our ability uh, to connect to our pure love to anyone uh, in the world. And in a way, each time for me, because I have a lot of emotions around this conflict, I have a lot of rage and anger and sadness and, uh, and, and grief and a lot of emotions. And for me, uh, the more that I'm allowing myself to express these emotions oh. and not keeping oh. them, blocking them, not sharing them, I'm gaining more faith with who I am and people around, like raising more trust with, with what we, we are together. Uh, so for me, I think that the only way to do it is find good, all the good partners that I, I feel blessed, and one of them is you. And uh, because really, the, the main thing that I learned um, from uh, you is like, how much power I have in my vulnerability. Mm -hmm. And for me, that's what I'm teaching all the girls. Mm -hmm. Like really to stand there with acknowledging their rage, acknowledging their, their sorrow, acknowledging their grief, acknowledging and, and at the same time, without being afraid, you know, this summer one of the girls told me, suddenly, I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry. Like, all the time, like, holding yourself, like, because the feeling and the kind of illusion that everyone taught us that if I will show my feeling, I will be weak. I will be considered weak. And especially, and, I think, like, uh, you, I love that you say... Uh, uh, um, our vulnerability, and then you talk about rage, which I think is part of our vulnerability, most especially our rage, our grief, our, our strong feelings, when we are sharing them with people that we consider to be our enemies. I mean, so talk about like the courage to be fully alive and naked and sharing yourself with people that, on some level, you have this image threaten your existence. So what a powerful thing you're doing with these women. Yeah, yeah and, and in a way, you know, like for the last few years, I'm not saying that I'm a peacemaker. Like, in a way, it's like, I'm, and it's a gift, because I learned that with working with these girls, like, I'm more saying that really we are working together for equality, for justice. Because, you know, I think that all these values that each human being can connect to, like, because it's like really uh, values that each human being deserves, you know? Uh, when we are talking about equality, everyone can connect to that. So let's connect to that and really provide it to everyone. And uh, really, I feel worried about what is going on here. And for me, uh, I said before, and I'm telling all the women and to myself and to others, maybe in the past we had the privilege as women to sit aside and not speaking out. Maybe. Maybe. Now I feel that we don't have this privilege to say, oh, it's not uh, like we are taking care of other important things. This is the important thing. This is the important thing, and it's time that we will allow ourselves to feel and to do something with this feeling in order to stop what is going on. 